Uh, my name is David McKeown. So I want to uh, measure the weight of the Earth. So I went to the South Pole, because I thought it would be a good place, because you know, all the Earth was above me. Uh, that's an artist's impression on a mid-cartwheel. And it's, it's not to scale. Uh, sorry about that. The next slide is, yeah, it's two scales. Uh, so one for me and uh, one for the Earth. So I got off the plane and I measured my weight. And I was a little, little heavier than I was before I got on. It went strange. Got the scale, measured the Earth. And to my surprise, it measured nothing. I went, hmm, that's but of course it's absolutely correct. And if it sounds strange to you, uh, it's probably because of a mix-up between the word weight in scientific terms and in everyday English. So weight really isn't how heavy something is. It's a force. It's a force of attraction to the earth. Uh, so when you start thinking about the earth, well, it doesn't have a force of attraction to itself. So the earth weighs nothing, but it has mass. It has lots of mass. Okay, so when we say weight, we usually mean mass. And when we say mass... We're usually impersonating a priest. <laughs> <coughs> so the Earth has lots of mass, lots and lots of it. And uh, it's, it's so big, it's really big. And the, the number itself is very big and boring. No one's ever been able to say the number uh, without yawning. So I'm, I'm not going to talk about the number itself. I'm going to talk about how we know. So how do we know? Because we, we can't weigh it. And that's our usual trick. We usually weigh things and then convert it to mass. Uh, and, and numbers, the answers are easy. Uh, if anyone's used... Uh, this next popular maths book for the leaving sir, text and text five. Everyone knows if you want the answer, just flick to the back. Uh, and that's where the answer is. The beautiful thing, the amazing thing, is how we know. Uh, so we're going to have to talk about that. So first thing, we're just going to have to do two experiments just to get a few things. First thing I need to do is I need to push you off a building. Uh, it's for science, so you won't mind. But um, as you're falling, if you could just measure how quickly you're accelerating uh, to the ground, because we need that thing. That's called the uh, uh, acceleration due to gravity. And that's what relates weight to mass. So weight's just mass multiplied by how, far, how fast or how fast you accelerate off a building. Um, and, and we've only, uh, well, yeah, that's fair enough. <laughs> I've lost my place. The second thing we need to do is measure the radius of the Earth. And a really good way to measure the radius of Earth uh, is to climb a mountain. Uh, so you have to climb a mountain. A mountain that you know the height of, and then take out your astrolabe you got an astrolabe, right? And um, <laughs> this is an astrolabe. And then you want to uh, measure the difference between uh, astronomical horizontal, so that's just looking out off the top of the mountain, and where the horizon is. Uh, and then you measure that angle, and then you rush home, and, and you get your trigonometry books out, and uh, from that, you can work out the radius of the Earth. OK, so the next thing, we'll talk a bit, bit about gravity. Gravity gets a bad rep for just apples hitting physicists and, you know, keeping us on the ground. But gravity is much more general than that. What gravity says is that anything with mass is attracted to anything else with mass. So you have mass, which means you're attracted to the person beside you, because they have mass. And not only that, you're attracted to everybody else in this room. There's a force pulling us all together. It's pretty, pretty cozy. But not only that, there's a force now that you're attracted to the cars outside, to your sofa back home, to Pluto, to everything. There's a small force attracting us all, all to each other. And that's what gravity means. Two things about gravity. Size matters. <laughs> so the bigger the mass, the bigger the force of attraction. So we're attracted to the Earth much more than we're attracted to the you know, change in our pocket and, and, and that kind of thing. Second thing to know is that distance matters. Uh, <laughs> So uh, it's not even the distance. So every, every time you double your distance, uh, the, this force gets four times weaker. It's an inverse square law. OK, so what can we do with that? Well, what we, we can do is find that the weight of the Earth is uh, related to two ways we can write what, what our weight is. So one way was our mass multiplied by how quick we fall off a building. And another way is this attraction force, how much our person is attracted to, to the Earth. Now, I wouldn't write an equation, but uh, this pitch, picture equation that I've made here uh, e explains it, right? So uh, your mass by how far, fast you fall off a building equals your mass by the Earth's mass by the, the radius of the, ma of the Earth squared. The student book could see that the farther jacks cancel. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter what you throw off the building. Sorry for, for doing that to you. But that's, it. that's the expression. We have the mass of the Earth in terms of the acceleration due to gravity and the radius of the Earth. That g is just a universal constant. And you can do it for an experiment. If you put all those numbers in, you get this. That's the mass of the Earth, five point. <sighs> Sorry, it's too boring. 